Greetings brothers and sisters. My name is Linda and my channel is called Simple Help Now. Before I begin, I want to thank all of my fellow watchers who are looking diligently for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and who are alerting others. Thank you. I also want to say thank you to all of those who are watching and praying and being alert because we are all together in the body of Christ. Everyone is important. I almost feel like the time is so short that I may see you in heaven before I post another video. I may be wrong in this, but I feel like the time is at hand. The Lord brought me to create this channel, his channel. It's a simple sharing of the conversations that the Lord has been having with me. I hope you have been encouraged in some way and that your eyes are looking for the coming of our blessed bridegroom, Jesus. You know we're going to a wedding soon, right? The other day I mentioned this to someone in regard to the coming of Jesus, and that person seemed really confused. I realized many people are still unaware of why we are here. We're on this earth to know Jesus, to love him and to make him known and to be with him forever. He prayed, he paid the price for your sin and mine with his own blood, and we are free to live in relationship with him. So whether we are to be taken with him tonight, tomorrow, next week, next month, or even a year from now, we watch with joy and anticipation. The greatest event in history, aside from the resurrection of Jesus, is about to happen to believers. He is going to translate you without dying right into his presence. No other believer in, in history as a group has had this privilege. It is astounding that we are waiting for the catching away of his bride into heaven. For the world, it's a time of sober awareness of sin and the consequence of it. For the Jewish nation, it's a time of a father at work to bring back a son that missed it when Jesus came the first time. All of your life is about to change. You are entering eternity. It is sobering to think about even for believers. We are going to cross the finish line. We may have thoughts of concern at times, but we are reminded to look at the cross in his finished work. So we are comforted that his salvation is complete and his blood was the price. The work of Jesus to redeem us was accepted by the Father as a complete payment for sins. I want to share what I felt the Lord spoke with me today. Feel free to test all words. And here's what I felt he said. My children, fear not. Be awake and alert. My beautiful bride is coming home to her beloved. What is coming to pass is written in the prophets. The grain of wheat that fell into the, into the soil and gave his life has become a great harvest of souls. The chosen and called have answered, say, answered saying, even so, come, Lord Jesus. My own know the time. The clock will stop and a change will begin, a time of life for the Jews, an ending of the age of the church. Be aware, my children, of the rapid changes that will overtake the world within days of the rapture. Those who are caught up will not see it, those who are left must humble themselves for the storm is going to rage. My children, time is up. The wait has been long, but the fullness of time has come. Seek me while I can be found easily. I'm going to rescue my bride before the great tribulation. The scoffers and those who are heart of heart return to my heart. The time is now. Cling and be watchful. I am coming like a thief in the night. And that's what I felt he wanted to share. So brothers and sisters, the time is closing on our watch. Cling to Jesus. 
He is our salvation. And I want to end this with a prayer for salvation. If you don't know Jesus, please step into his door and enter into eternal life and salvation through him. Whether you, we have to wait a little while longer for the rapture or if we are about to go, keep watching. I won't be sharing dates, but please be alert to the times that you live in. If you don't know Jesus yet, please pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, I humble myself now and I ask that you would forgive my sins and receive my life into your care. I agree with my heart and mind that Jesus is the only way of salvation. He died on a cross and carried my sins so that I could be set free from them. And I know he rose again to life after three days and that I am forgiven by his blood, which is his sacrifice for my sins. I receive this and I ask for the Holy Spirit to fill me with life. I forgive all those who have sinned against me and hurt me. Just as you have forgiven me, I forgive them. Thank you for this new life. Please receive me when you come for your church. Fill me with love for Jesus as I wait for his return. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for your comments, love, support through prayer, etc. We will meet again soon in the air, probably sooner than you think. God bless you all. I love you all. This is Linda from Simple Help Now.